So let us come back and do one more sum on your relative lowering of vapor pressure that is RLVP. So let's see what us the sum want us to do. Yes. <sighs> vapor pressure, or first of all, as soon as the numerical is given to you, writing given data is very important. Yes. Let's see. Vapor pressure of pure water at 298 Kelvin is so much. Okay. Vapor pressure of pure water they've given us. Remember. So as soon as the data is given, your terminology is very important. They have given me vapor pressure of pure solvent that is P naught S, which is equal to 23.8 mm of mercury let us come back then 50 grams of urea okay the solute uh, weight is given to us is dissolved in 850 grams of water so because this is lesser quantity that's a solute and this is larger quantity that is your solvent done so let's again write w1 and w2 <coughs> let always try to pick up uh, the solvent as w2 so the solute is w2 so i'm taking this as solute this as a solvent so solvent given is 850 grams solute given is 50 grams what should i calculate calculate the vapor pressure of water for the solution i have to calculate what vapor pressure of water means ps how much is this and it's relative lowering i should also <coughs> i should also calculate this I have to calculate this also relative lowering of vapor pressure. You know, let's start. So, first important thing for this and this particular thing, right? Important first, let us uh, try to find out this concept, then substitute in this and finally find it. Now, I mean, I have to write the formula. What is the formula? P naught minus P A. You can write P S, not a problem. I'm not writing it here. You can write here P naught. <coughs> okay, hope mm, it is not confusing you, which is equal to, yeah n2 by n2 plus n1 why did i take n2 first because i have to find out uh, the, the mole fraction then substitute the weight isn't it so that is why i took so the n2 is w2 by m2 divided by w2 by m2 plus w1 by m1 let's see p not s minus p s by P A, P naught S is equal to what is W2 weight given to us? 50. 50 divided by M2. M2 is nothing your um, um, solute, isn't it? Now, solute, what is uh, solute weight? That is urea is 60 <coughs> gram per mole. For water, this is your M2. This is your M1, 18 gram per mole water molecular weight. Substitute and see. 50 by your 60 divided by water weight given is 850 grams divided by 18 grams. When I solve this whole thing, I get an answer only this thing, I get an answer of 0 0.017. Now let's come back. Now this a part of this relative lowering I've got, I should also find out PS, isn't it? Let's take this. Now what did they give us? They have given one quantity here. What is that quantity? P naught S they have given us, vapor pressure of pure solvent. Now substitute that value here because I have to find PS. I am taking this value which is already given. 23.8 minus your PS I have to find because I have already written here. I have to find PS divided by 23.8 which is equal to 0.017. Cross multiply. <laughs> Correct. I have to find PS. So PS minus PS here is equal to minus of 23.8. When I solve this minus PS I get, I when I multiply all this and subtract I get an answer of minus 23.4. Minus and minus gets cancelled and I get an answer of vapor pressure 23 mm observe carefully what did i do yes i first basically wrote the given data then i have written what to find out this is to find out this also to be found after that i have written a formula right <clears throat> because of the vapor we have to find with the sol solute always isn't it n2 by n1 we never write n1 by n1 plus n2 solute that is why the vapor pressure is decreasing they have given solute constant um, this and weight also so you're going to write for solute then we very well know this is the answer and i took i substituted the values w2 weight is given by the molecular weight 
W1 weight is given 850 grams by the molecular weight. I solved it. Then finally, after solving everything, I got P. So, two important answers. What are the two important answers I got? You are going to write the answer. Thus, what should I write? Vapor pressure of water. Okay. Vapor pressure of water in solution is 23.4 mm and relative lowering of vapor pressure is how much did I get I got it uh, where did I find here yes relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to 0 0.017 no units ratio isn't it so this is how you're going to conclude your answer